I told you to. I to stop the trip on. Look at Ian. I mean, she is the squeezy baby. I was looking at her when I came upstairs. I'm looking at her and she's looking at me. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, what? All done? All better? Oh, 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 oh better. She, just, she said better bladder. When I saw her just now for the first time today, she smiled. You know, she's smiling. And I, I was smiling back here, but then I went. I was like, okay, time to start. You know, making some food. And as soon as I turn around, she start crying when I start walking away. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that something? Both girls now Come love John on, more than they love me. <laughs> no, honey, no. Come back. No. Bye. It's true. Eden is so freaking bye bye. cute. Okay. Hey. Please. Gotta say please. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you watching it because you get too too mad. She's yeah. already very emotional. She is an emotional. Basket case. Yeah, she's going through. <laughs> she she's going through something. Yeah. I don't and, know. What. But guess what? In this house, you don't get excuses. Oh, by the way, both kids woke up runny noses. Oh great. Back at it again with the runny noses. Oh great. Mama needs a hug. I'm really cold. Ariana, go to your mother. <laughs> Very good, very good, very good. Mommy got you in a blanket. Mommy got you. Get her! Oh! Alright. To celebrate my Spanish Channel inauguration, I'm having a Mexalente burrito -a. Oh yeah! That's probably really... I just left the grocery store and I came without the girls. They're both napping, so I'm like trying to rush. And I was trying to get the ingredients for this recipe that we're making tonight. And I didn't look at the recipe. I just, I saw it and I was like, oh, that looks really delicious. Let's just make it. So I get here and I'm looking through the recipe. And first of all, anything that requires like fresh cheese, it's always expensive. I mean, a little tiny thing of fresh mozzarella is like ridiculously expensive. So anyway, there's all these cheeses listed. So then it says rosemary. I know I'm going to say this wrong. Rosemary focaccia, focaccia, whatever. And I'm just assuming in my mind like, oh yeah, that's cheese. I'm looking everywhere for it. I even went to the deli and I was like, hey, can I ask you a question? Like, do you know where this cheese is? So the woman comes out and she's laughing because she doesn't know what it is. We're looking all over for it and I'm like, eh, it's fine. And she was like, oh, this other store has better selection. So then I texted my mom like, hey, is there a substitute for this? And then I just decided to Google it. It's bread. I knew it was bread. Like after I saw that, I'm like, oh yeah, duh, it's bread. I. I tried to find the girl to tell her, like, if somebody asks for this again, like, just, you don't look like an idiot. It's not cheese. Needless to say, I didn't even realize it was to make breadcrumbs. So I just thought, oh, it's just to serve with the meal. I can get whatever bread I want because I don't even like that kind of bread. So then I realized later you're supposed to make breadcrumbs out of it, sprinkle it on top of the chicken. I'm an idiot. Let's see your new mittens. Look at the camera. Show the camera. They come up high. They say to the elbow. I mean, well, yeah, it is about at her elbow. But they, they go on a lot better. Those black ones, like there was something about them. I think they're actually too big. So they just, I don't know. I couldn't get them on very well. Someone's not feeling so good. She woke up from a nap. Pretty cranky and not breathing very well. But now she's got her mittens. She's ready to build a snowman. Oh yeah. Yep, this is gonna be a rough weekend. Get the net here. Look at that snot. Eden's got Me some eyes. new, some new oh, cool, cool socks. Don't you, Eden? Yeah, very. So these cool. actually are like the not the cutest ones. No. I didn't want to waste the cutest ones. On no, just don't a, waste the cutest ones right just now. Just a day around the house. It's real cool. 
Really cool. Hey, mommy, hold your dad. Mommy, hold, hold your dad. I figured out why the beard is looking so scruffy. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is as much of the problem. I mean, this is scruffy, but like, you see these, you know, kind of really clean cut hipster looks. I think it's the mustache. I think this is like huge right now and it's not working. So I think I need to like shrink this, but if I shrink this and it doesn't look good, then it's all gotta go. Yeah. You know, so, and somebody sent a beard gift to me, so I've got to make good use of it, you know. So we're going to have to do mail time, like, tomorrow or something. Okay, so, uh, it's been the worst day. It's been a little bit rough. One of my recordings, hour-long recording, great video, super excited to get it out to everybody, and pff, it's crap. It's garbage. The audio was all messed up, and I had to redo it, but... Very good news. New lens. New lens just arrived. Uh, the rental. It's uh, it's real nice. It's a clean look, but it's pretty big. It's on the big side. It's a Sigma f 1.8, 18 to 35 millimeter. So no no uh, image stabilization, but autofocus and all that. It is ice cold right now, so I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit in the microwave, and then we should be good. <laughs> So I'm gonna try it out. Want to see what you guys think? Want to see what I think? But mainly, what I think. Want to see what you think? So I'm not gonna move the camera. I'm gonna put it on right now. Thumbnail pose, perfect. Okay. Well, first of all, for those who don't know, it is National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. Yeah. We don't have ugly Christmas sweaters, but we do have these beautiful suits. I gotta say, and what's the name of the company? Opposites. Opposites. So they, you told the story in the video that I deleted. <laughs> right. So I, I tweeted out a picture of these pajamas. I said I ordered John. I didn't actually order them. And somebody said, oh, you need something more formal and tweeted a picture of, oh no. We'll be right back. <laughs> and so they sent us, I didn't know they were sending me one. They sent John a couple suits and then they sent me this lovely matching suit. I mean, show them the back. It hems yeah. real nice <laughs> in the back. It's got a good flair to it. It's really good. Yeah. And this suit jacket, I... The jackets fit it fits really nice. nice. Yeah. The skirt is a little big. His pants are small. So... Yes. It's a little tricky. I have a 38 up here <laughs> and I'm a big 36 <laughs> down here. But honestly, it looks nice with the black. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Overall. Anyway. Eden's still crying. Do we yeah. panic yet? Or? Um, on top of it being a freak face, what is the day? National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. Nationally Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. It's also Cooking Friday with the B-Double Fam. And Nicole allowed me to join this time. So, let's unbutton our suit jackets <laughs> and let's get to cooking. <laughs> Okay, so this is called Skillet Chicken Parmesan with Artichoke. I got this off Food Network. I started following them on um, Instagram. Okay. So it looked delicious, and you know what? I just wanted to make it. Cool. And it's really easy. That's great. Did we start? You're making me really uncomfortable. I feel like I'm doing a professional cooking show because of the suit. I think it's the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads, definitely. <laughs> They make you feel They just make me, like, they're really putting me on the spot. Yeah, you're on the spot. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, you, so you saw me here. <laughs> I've just been wanting to use this because I bought this a while ago at Target, and I I was just trying to show it off. <laughs> what? That, <laughs> this that... measure cup. Oh, it's adorable, honey. I really, really like it. Flame on. So the recipe called for a 20... 28 ounce can of whole peeled San Marzano tomatoes, but you have to crush them by hand. Well, here's the thing. San Marzano, is that a brand? Oops. Well, whatever it is, couldn't find it. So we just have whole tomatoes. I love wearing so suits. <laughs> one of us has to crush them with our hand. Good, do I wash? I haven't washed my morning mitts yet today. Well, that's disgusting because it's eight o'clock. Um, it's hard to see past the mustache. I guess I'm worried about your white shirt. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna, okay. 
So I'm just gonna put olive oil. It's like two tablespoons of olive oil. Speak up, woman. <laughs> it's not like the kids are sleeping or anything. <laughs> yeah, Aries wide awake. <laughs> um, well, while he's doing that, I'm gonna just brown. I have to. You put this is a can of artichokes. Okay. They said frozen. I couldn't find frozen ones, so it was supposed to be ten ounce frozen. Okay. Ones. Okay. The camera's <laughs> falling. This is a heavy lens. Really, really ruining my cooking show here. Okay, I'm I'm working on it. I don't it. know what to do. So something you guys might not know. Oh, oh, crush them by hand? That's what it said. Okay. Something you guys might not know is oh, it just oh, honey. It, Why are you? You're not supposed to bend down into the bowl. Oh, it's burning. <laughs> Nobody told you to do this. Something you guys might not know. We love artichoke. We love artichoke dip. We always order it as an appetizer when we go out to restaurants. Okay. <laughs> That's what you risked that for? Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if we, if we should just put them in a one. No. Oh no. Be very careful. All right. And then after like five minutes, um, with the artichoke, you add a clove of garlic. I have a can. Sorry. But it's still it's from the scratch. Way, it's just my way of life. I feel like this is hand chucked. Hey, these were hand, these were done by hand. <laughs> um, Boy, they sure were. Oh, red pepper flakes. Uh. Okay, then then you're gonna add the tomatoes. Okay. And then, actually, since you're over there, can you fill that up with water? Yeah. How much? Uh, one cup. One cup of water. Okay, I'll do that. Cool <laughs> thing we got. Honey. Great drop by hand. Okay, more tomatoes and just more tomatoes. Right. In. I hope this is delicious because this is a really easy recipe. It's a spicy meat to ball. Okay, now which I'm we, just gonna we pour this in. We promised we would do, but we're not doing. We're not doing it. No, else. I'll do that another time. Yeah. Um, Oh, okay, I so bet then, you anything. So then you just bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. You know how they say, oh, let the sauce simmer so it'll thicken? It never thickens. It never thickens. That'll never happen. Me. And that's why they have you let it simmer for 10 minutes because they think that it's going to thicken. But guess what? Every chef me. out there, it never thickens. Never. Nicole's thinly sl slicing a very exotic looking <laughs> piece of cheese. It's just fresh mozzarella and I know everyone's gonna have something to say about how I pronounce mozzarella. What's wrong with mozzarella? I don't know, but it's been commented on before. What do they say, mozzarella? I, mozzarella. I don't know. I, if Ma that's what you want me to say, I promise you I will never say it. And if you say it, I will want to punch you in the face. Mozzarella. <laughs> Bring it. This bread that Nicole got all confused about, this is going to be sliced and diced. What do you need? Well, just a fourth <clears throat> of a cup worth of breadcrumbs. Okay, a fourth of a cup worth of breadcrumbs. Oh, boy, this knife. Arlo. Arlo. That's a quality bread the, knife. Look at what this knife is doing. It's just like butter through this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my. And right into the toaster with you. Can I put two in one? I think I can put two in one. Oh, I sure can. Look at that. Boy, this is home homemade cooking. And let it toast. Ah, toast is done. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Uh, it's not yeah. very. It's not very toasty. Oh, great. Well, you blew it. Okay. Uh, one. Um, we need it. One more round. One more round. Ah, now that should do the trick. Yes, very toasty. Now that's, ouch! Nicole always brags about how she can grab the hottest things. So <laughs> I can't touch it right let's now. Let's see how much you uh, brag now. Uh, bragging? All right. Now you ain't bragging now, are you? Mm. Ah, delicious breadcrumbs. 
Yeah, just buy breadcrumbs. That's my suggestion. Uh, got my burp in for the day. <laughs> Which, I'm glad. I'm proud of my burp in. So holding it out like this, with this lens on, is pretty, pretty hard. Yeah. But I feel like the autofocus priority is much better because guess who it's focusing on right now? Me. It should never take focus off of me. And that's what I think when I edit every video. How can I make this more about me? And then I find ways and I make it all about me. Hmm. These kids keep trying to steal life. the show and my wife keeps trying to steal the show, but guess what? It's my show. Mine. I don't remember where he left off. I thought I just recorded something, but I probably didn't. Oh, it's focusing on you. Hold on. Me, my husband, John. He, Here we go. He'll figure That's it out fast. one of these days. That is a fast autofocus. Holy cow. Did you see us pour in the chicken? <laughs> If you didn't see us pour in the three, chicken. Three cups of chicken. The mm -hmm. recipe said just use rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. And now the final touch, mm -hmm. the mozzarella. Don't just throw it on. No, no, no. It's, this is a real art to this. Um, we want it to look beautiful. Just like you, honey. Thank you. Uh, the breadcrumbs are a little on the large size, but Nicole was going to food process, process them. I don't think that's a good idea because then it's more cleanup. And, and I'm, it'd be really loud. Probably and it'd be case. very loud. This I, is Parmesan cheese, a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese over, over all this. Yep. You're supposed to preheat your broiler. It didn't say what temperature because mine you have to manually put it in. So I just did 500 because I don't know. What a risk. Um, just three to five minutes. You just want to melt. You want the cheese bubbling and the breadcrumbs brown so that's what it's looking like before it goes in the old oven see i mean there's it's not like totally covered right when i saw that i thought that that was an artichoke dip <clears throat> oh well it's a it's a meal so i i thought we were having like an artichoke dip type that type of amazing. meal here yeah but you know but artichoke it's not really a meal though well if you could make it a meal if you put chicken in it and oh, my jack yeah, where's your jacket? Well, I I get really nervous taking stuff out of the oven, and like I didn't ha like I couldn't really you know. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's been in there oh, for five minutes. Whoa, this looks amazing. Oh my! I am excited. We might be really cool. Told you it'd be worth it, guys. This is good. This is very, this is very, very good. Okay, is it taste test time? We'll let it just cool down a little bit, <laughs> but then we'll keep it real warm in here, won't we, honey? Yeah. With kisses. <laughs> Kiss my mustache. No. Kiss it. No. Kiss me. Kiss me. Let me find a spot that's clean. <laughs> Shave in the morrow. So here we are. I ready, will say this. Ready to try our we're delicious. A really soggy piece of bread right here. Oh boy, that gets soggy. Yeah. So maybe, maybe it was more important to really get the crumbs. Yeah. All right. Make sure you get a piece of chicken and a piece of artichoke. Okay, I will. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I right? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you don't like artichoke, this is not the recipe for you. But it, I like it. It's very fine. It's very good. I take a little bit of ranch, and I put a little bit of mustard in it. <laughs> no, I think it's fantastic, just the way it is. I think it's really, really good. I think if I did it next time, this rotisserie chicken, maybe, it's really salty. I wouldn't... The one from Costco is not that salty. I'd probably get that one or just do my own chicken. Like I get the thumbs up from me. Cook, cook your own chicken first. Really? Yeah. Just because I don't know why this one's just really powerful. Well, it's not only salty. It's just, it tastes like it's like, uh, it's really gamey. Like, it's yes. like they just caught it. Like, right. It's extremely gamey. fresh chicken. Oh. Is this our best tasting? It's our best looking so far. Is our best oh. tasting? I don't know, that buffalo thing was really good. And you mm -hmm. know, they make it the way we make it, that same website. Oh, they do? Yes, they make it a ton of different ways. 
So with the buffalo sauce, mm -hmm. how we did it. That honestly, that was that was good. Mm -hmm. I would definitely make that again. That was probably our best. But I would make this again too because it was really easy. I, like I said, I would just. I'm sorry. What? Oh, I thought you were getting mad at me. <laughs> I would just never. do the chicken different. I would never get mad at you. We're also wearing this as a tribute to Craig Sager. Craig Saber. <laughs> Craig Saber. Craig Sager has been an NBA like announcer for a long time. He was born in 1951. He was diagnosed with a disease, I think cancer, and he died yesterday. And the whole NBA is really sad about it because he was a great personality and a great guy. And he used to wear really crazy stuff. Like he would wear this. This oh, is really? what he would wear to a game. Yeah. So Craig Sager, to your family, we miss you. We miss your family. <laughs> I don't know how to say. John, just <laughs> I don't know how to say I love you. <laughs>